Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another rugby video. Gonna be doing a different type of thing today. Um, it's not not player highlights or anything today. It's we're gonna be doing Bill McLaren's best commentary quotes ever. Um, yeah, this video is by Andrew Ford. Uh, it seems to uh, imply he's like a legendary commentator. Um, yeah, really excited. A lot. I love like like yeah, commentary moments are obviously crazy. There's a couple in hockey. There's a couple great, uh, great commentators that have some legendary stuff. So excited to see some stuff. Maybe I've heard some of them before. Um, we'll see, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, make sure to join the Discord if you're into that sort of thing. Drop a sub, drop a like, comment on the video, all your thoughts and all that good stuff. And yeah, make sure to drop a sub on Andrew Ford because yeah, he's the one making the uh, the actual content and all that. So hop over there for sure. All right, let's get into it. All right. The voice of rugby, Bill McLaren's best commentary quotes. The sun has gone away behind the clouds. It's got very dull and it's wet, but not that wet that we couldn't have some very good rugby <laughs> football just the same. The pitch was a little bit softer earlier on. It's now a little bit softer still. Clearly, it's going to be a day for uh, perhaps some foot rushes, perhaps some aerial bombardment, certainly for some slanted kicks to the corner. And so the referee today is a 42-year-old schoolmaster from New Zealand's Bay of Plenty who's refereed for 20 years and still survives to tell the tale. The scene is set then for what should be a tremendous struggle. With a tremendous struggle. Mervyn Davis leading Wales in a major international for the seventh time. This most capped of all number eight forwards. This is his 36th international, so there's nothing that he doesn't know about <laughs> playing here in the national <laughs> stadium and all the players i think will be delighted to notice that that pitch is in wonderful condition a great credit to bill hardiman the groundsman and his staff who've nice. made special yes. preparations to Shout make a holding so the groundskeepers in goes winterbottom john scott picks up lafon now it's davis oh beautiful pass to herber herber's a powerful man oh, over no. halfway in comes clive Vies on the dummy run it's still herber the south african Feeds on there to nice. Gareth Davis. Barbs and this barbarians. is rugby football. This Lion barbarians in like Scotland. Out to Terry Holmes once more. And Scotland really hmm. are having to pull out the stops in every department. With that splintering mm -hmm. burst. Splintering the defence, but footing a put in touch. Mm -hmm. Putting a foot in touch. He probably foot a put in touch as well. He's as slippery <laughs> as a baggie of a border burn, his little... Uh, <laughs> what? what did you say? I was going to say, well, no quarter has ever given or asked in these games between these two countries. But if Moskine are beginning to feel the bumps, either he's getting too old or it really is tough out there. Yeah, it usually takes a road roller to damage him, doesn't it, Gareth? Webster fed <laughs> that out. It's Mark Ring, but he was tackled as he went to kick. Oh, Ooh. lovely touch by Yaya now. Barbarians are the team You'll get a game for Arsenal playing like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. You see the little signal? Look at this. Look at this. Good enough for Arsenal. Good enough for Arsenal. Here, cheek and cunning. Is that, is that him, like, taking a shot at Arsenal for being bad? Or is it that, like... Yeah, that must be the context, right? I'm not sure. I know, I know Ars I've heard of Arsenal, obviously. I don't really follow... Uh, like soccer that much though so i'm not sure how if they're like kind of a joke um or if they're more of a no they can't be a joke right i mean maybe to some of you guys they are but yeah that, that's that's funny regardless on, he regardless. was going to give it to the forwards and away he went and he just started kicking up it the field it was as if he kicked about three pounds of haggis that time because it hardly <laughs> got off the ground Campesi. Campesi, yeah. Did we react to him? I've seen Campesi, Campesi before. I don't remember if it was a uh, reaction or All arms and legs. He's like a mad octopus when he goes in there. <laughs> John Taylor with a kick measuring something like 35, 40 yards. Taylor, it looks good. It is good. Nice. Oh, on to Neil back. Great stuff to Wainwright. Intercept into Stensness. Oh, that was good. Stensness is left foot kick. Tuigamala is going back there. Lovely pick up by Clement. And a crunching tackle by Tuigamala. 
Tuiga. There he is, Vayinga Tuiga Mala, one of a family of 14, and you can see easily who was at the head of the food queue. <laughs> the food queue. Well, let me tell you, Matthew awesome. Sterling, the whole back. You've got a scrum which is better than a penalty kick. And Mervyn <laughs> Davis is going off, and this is a this is a fascinating situation because it's a question of who comes on. Is it going to be Derek Quinnell? We're into injury time, and if a replacement comes on at all, then he's got his cap. And Derek Quinnell, who's been so near his cap for so long, what, what was that guy doing? Could well come on to give him or put his name in the book. A great ovation for Mervyn Davis, who gives nothing short of a hundred percent. And you can see how keen Derek Quinnell is to get no. onto this field. <laughs> he's like running get out, out of the, the way, field. He says to the policeman. <laughs> To this score for Quinnell. <laughs> that's awesome. And the player, that's one of the are the, great moments of this are the bench, the bench guy's not on the Danny on the bench. Quinnell, they're, they're in the dressing room or something. Before he gets his Welsh cap, and he's waited so long. Wow. And at last, he gets British his line Welsh before cap. his Welsh cap. Okay. Go back for Ireland. Humphreys. Wales, Ireland. He's uh, stroked that one well. That nice. is an incredible kick. It hardly was 10 feet off the ground. When he goes like that, he's like a mad giraffe. The tap down for Peter <laughs> Brown. It's beautifully laid back for Gareth Edwards. Edwards over the Welsh 10 yards line, over halfway. The kick ahead by Edwards. Can he score? Edwards. It would be a miracle if he could. He may well get there. Nice. Edwards is on my face. He's like rush. a mad water buffalo, isn't he, when he gets to go? <laughs> That's quite an advantage to the Scots because that uh, looked like quite a useful ball for England. Pick up by Jeffrey. Jeffrey to Armstrong. Armstrong nicely out to Gavin Hastings. Gavin Hastings who's going to kick through. On goes Stanger. Stanger could be there. What a bounce. Nice. A magnificent try for the 21 year old. The smiling assassin. The smiling He's assassin. So solid as soon as he gets the feet apart, you'd need dynamite or the Highland Light infantry to shift him. David <laughs> Show against uh, David Young on this side. What are those guys doing? The, the, <laughs> <laughs> what are they the doing? The flankers having a private battle. Richie Collins. A private Jeffrey, battle. Jonathan Davis, Blethyn Bowen, along the line to ring. There's a chance here. Has had Ooh, good pass. Oh. Evans all the way. Oh, what a Jesus. That was sick. Uh, we might have seen that already on the channel, but that, that was insane. Number four, Wood, and it's trolled over. Far Jones, Lloyd Walker, on to Cook. Campese, Campese, the change of pace again. Oh, what a dummy. Oh. oh, what that was crazy. That was crazy. A dazzling score to finish it off. Thorburn then. Woof. What a belt he's given it. Oh, wow. That was crazy for him. That was crazy for him. JPR flattened by Carmichael. Fenwick. Gerald Davis. Oh, my God. Oh. Dude, some of the dummies we're seeing in this video have been crazy. Her steps, so yeah, it's not dummies. Oh, oh nice. Kugamala and... The Thunderbus on the move once more. The Thunderbus. tries to get it out. Stensness almost gets to the line. Recognize the name David Wallace. His brothers have both played for Ireland. Richard, 29 caps as a wing. Paul, 35 as a prop forward. And they're hoping that David will get a cap when Ireland tour Argentina and America in a wee while. Quinnell, well, and that, I mean, he's like a runaway buffalo, isn't he? You don't <laughs> stop him from that distance. Here he comes sniping away the baby faced assassin. I call the again, baby faced assassin. Forward in the line out, and it's been left to Chris Wyatt, and how well he did that again. Scott Quinnell, a bust by Scott Gibbs. Scott Gibbs is through. Scott Gibbs Damn, is through. Nice. <laughs> all right that was awesome that was yeah bill mclaren's best commentary yeah he definitely reminds me of um he has like the no, like what is it like a th he has like a th like a classic vibe about him like he actually reminds me of um in hockey there's a legendary commentator named bob cole who's uh He's obviously Canadian, but um, he had, he sounds similar. His voice is similar. I guess just, just without the just without like oh, 
without the Canadian accent, I guess, instead of, uh, where, where was he from? Where was he? Let me actually check. I should, I should have known Wikipedia look up of him. Maybe we'll tr do that right now. Oh, he passed, oh, he passed away in 2010. Okay. Yeah, he was a Scottish, uh, Scottish rugby commentator. The voice of rugby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he, he reminds me a lot of Bob Cole from hockey. So if, if you have any interest, go check out Bob Cole's like greatest moments uh, as a commentator. Very similar vibe um, about him. Similar like, yeah, yeah. That that just like the old classic like commentary style. I think of like across all sports. I guess it's kind of just it sounded like that. Like from like the like the sixties to like the nineties. I guess kind of range is yeah. They just they just sounded different. It sounded better to me uh looking at back at them like that um yeah nowadays it's not as not as um there's just like something missing from the commentary i guess i don't know maybe maybe not for maybe not for rugby but for hockey at least i feel like there is um but yeah no that was really cool um yeah some awesome awesome funny uh funny calls some great calls Lot, lots of insane plays in that game or in that video so i'm assuming that is because like he was obviously probably commentating a lot of the best games and moments of the the last uh like 40 years i guess I mean, pretty, pretty much like the rise of rugby on t on like uh in like media i guess or in popularity or on tv and all that he was probably the face of it so yeah, he was obviously probably the main guy to go to for for all the big moments um yeah really good stuff um if there's any other commentators to just check out let me know um probably i mean there's probably not that many but yeah if there is another one that you, you guys like let me know um yeah yeah, we'll show up there. Thanks for watching. Join the Discord if you're interested. Uh, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts on on McLaren. And like, yeah, just let me know. Let me know. Thanks for watching.